Spawn vs. Deadpool. These two define the essence of 90s anti-heroes. Tortured souls, buckets of violence, and a healthy dose of self-aware humor. At least from Deadpool's side. Their chaotic energies would clash and blend like no other character combination could. Now beyond the characters, this represents an opportunity for Image and Marvel, two comic giants to collaborate. The idea alone is a huge draw and done right would raise the bar for crossovers in my personal opinion. Now while the appeal is obvious, it needs to transcend nostalgia and cheap spectacle. Because you know Deadpool knows no bounds. So there's potential for genuinely thought-provoking exploration of trauma, morality, and the limits of what a hero even is in their twisted worlds. Now how can this narrative work? It can't just be Deadpool quipping and Spawn doing all the heavy lifting. Here are three compelling plot points that explore Deadpool vs Spawn crossover. And if you stick with me to the end, I think we have to add a little bit of Wolverine to the mix. Number 1. The Devil Went Down To Wherever Deadpool Is A mysterious figure even more tortured than Spawn appears on Earth. And hell wants him back. Hunted by demons, this individual needs protection. And who better than the merc with the mouth and a hell spawn? So the figure is a demon in disguise, manipulating both spawn and Deadpool both. Spawn's internal struggle to do good collides with Deadpool's chaos. Now here's the question. Can they ever truly trust each other or is this a recipe for spectacular betrayal? Number two, who's hunting the hunter? A string of seemingly random murders is happening. Victims are all superpowered. The only connection? Deadpool and Spawn are being framed. Someone, government agency, secret society, or even a bigger baddie wants to remove the unpredictable elements. Can these two put aside their mutual distrust long enough to find the real killer? This will explore themes of reputation and vigilante justice. Now before I go into plot number 3, which would include Wolverine in the mix, don't forget to check out RatedComics.com for some really cool, limited print, rated comic exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. Now let's get back into the content. Wolverine gets dragged into the mess because, of course, why not? So someone's experimenting on mutants, injecting Clintar symbiote material into their systems, and the results are horrific. This new threat is too powerful for either Spawn or Deadpool alone. Wolverine gets reluctantly involved, clashing personalities and powers as they try to contain the symbiote-driven monster. This has a high potential for gory action and darkly satirical commentary on weaponization. Hey, that's just my three plot points right there. So the key is ensuring these plots offer more than surface level thrills. Spawn and Deadpool's core appeal lies in their messy humanity. By forcing them to confront difficult truths about themselves and the world amidst all the mayhem, that's where a truly memorable crossover would take shape and this will be gangsta watch if they can do this. And I hope y'all can do this. So what do you guys think? I want to hear you guys' debate on this. Do they end up being grudging allies or sworn enemies? Hey, comment below, let me know. And also, this video is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the super thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.